What's happening, Doug? Not too much. How was Christmas for you and Finn? Oh, oh good. I got oh, a an extra in my back. Yeah, I got a monkey on my back is the only problem. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. but he's a cute little monkey, right? <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. He's he is uh he is my little monkey boy. So and he was a little oh, bit of a helper good. today. What's that? And he was a little bit of a helper yeah, today. Yeah, he went to work today. He got to uh, learn what how to are use. Where going a, this morning? Yeah, he got to learn how to use a carpet knife, and oh, um, wow. yeah, because Papa Ray isn't allowed to use one anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Exactly. Yes, exactly. he is. No, we had yes, a, he is. We had a productive day at, at work, and. Uh, Doing some demo stuff and, and you can't talk. I can't talk. So if y'all don't know, Ray is uh, getting. He finally got the keys to his new store. That's right. So time to That's do right. some. Uh, yeah. time, time to do some work and get it ready. And it has, it has been a um, a nightmare, literally a nightmare, trying to find a space. Yeah. Trying to get everything ready to go. Yep. So it's been um, it's been kind of. Hello, something just happened there. So we are now um, we are now uh, in the process of demo and uh, working on um, uh, getting stuff, um, you know, worked out here and, and set up. And, and um, our goal here is thirty days and uh, end of January, which ironically is it works out really well for us in, in some respect that that we are um, because of the the show in Orlando. I mean. That's awesome, buddy. Yeah, my friend's got a monkey. He wants to show his monkey off and then his shark bubble gun. So there you go. Um <laughs> he um so you know we actually with the show in Orlando, and then we have the um I, IWCA or the International Window Cleaning. Um Yes, I did. I have a monkey on my back. Uh, with the with the IWCA uh, International Window Cleaning Association in Orlando, shortly thereafter, right. um, I'll actually have a lot of back stock. So we're just kind of tripling up the trailers. So I'll already have the power wash store down here. So I'm going to be able to stock Tanya and I can stock our store with you know stuff that was brought down there, which actually is really, really, really nice for us. Right. Um, so yeah, we're real excited about that. And you know, hey, maybe you'll sell some stuff down there. Mm -hmm. Probably a little bit. A little I think bit. that's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a hard challenge to get it done by the end of January, though. Ah, I don't. I don't. You know, the, the nice part is this. I, I don't think it will be. I mean, it's just hard work, and that's what we usually do. Yeah. And we're used to it. And we're used to these 12, 14, 18 hour days. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, ironically, one of the one of the um, one of the uh, stumbling box blocks. It's also a uh, bonus for getting the stuff down here. Is, is we have this um, power wash store event. We have this power wash store event um, that's coming up here. Well, gosh, it's next week already. Yep. And um, so that's going to be taken away from some time where, you know, you got to have some trust with your contractors because we're going to say, hey, do this, do this, do that. And, and boom, you know, it'll be done. We're not going to be here necessarily to, uh, to to be guiding them for about a week. But you know what? It's all good. And, and these are people we've worked with for, for years and have all the trust in the world with them. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, once that gets rolled, I mean, really, it's just a matter of getting the, I think for the most part, getting the shelving in there, getting stuff moved yeah. in, and then, yeah. you know, that shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, the warehouse itself, the showroom is is really pretty simple because I've already bought fixtures. I've already got pallet rack. I know exactly where I'm getting from the pallet rack. I'm picking up my, what do you call it, the uh, forklift. Um, mm -hmm. That's already ordered. So Tanya's in there. Um uh, ordering ice machine right now because that's one of the things we want to do is that you have an ice machine for contractors every morning you know hey you're going to come in here we know you're going to buy a bleach we know you're going to buy apple wash let me go ahead and you know toss ice in your cooler for you you know something we can do mm -hmm. um and, and real happy about you know to do that and it's one of those little things you know hey you want a cup yeah, of coffee? great one-stop shop in the morning exactly exactly you know because because <laughs> i um 
Yeah, somebody uh, somebody made it. Jim was asking for have a mechanic on staff. Absolutely, you know that's one of the things that um, that we plan on doing there of having literally drive in repair hydraulic repairs, hydraulic hose repairs on the fly. You know, bring us in a busted hose shop, we'll get it fixed for you. You'll be done and on your way. Um, and then pumps and 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 you know Hondas and those things. Yeah, we'll 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 have have someone there. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, and maybe I'm overstepping my bounds here, but are you going to put a truck on the road? A truck on the road? Yeah. Uh, like far, a delivery truck, parts truck, whatever kind of thing. You know, that that is something I would love to do. And, and yes, I could see deliveries happening and doing, you know, one of the things in our business plan that, that we've discussed is not, not only a, a, a parts truck, but even doing until we open up multiple branches, in Florida, if I'm allowed to say that, um, you know, why not load up a truck and go, Hey, you know what today, this, this is the Orlando weekend and meet us at the Walmart at, you know, 23rd and pine. And, uh, and, and we'll have, you know, um, a van full of stuff come on by, you know, if you order and maybe Jacksonville, we do that. Maybe Pensacola, we do that once a month. So we're happy to, to be able to do that and provide that service to people. Yeah. I think it'll be a great thing in the end. The, um, yeah. That's very <laughs> no, I know he can concentrate. Yeah. He's a little hyper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm barely holding. Yes, it. Jim. Jim asked another question about rental equipment. Yes, we'll have rentals. Um, rental trailers. Um, I'm, I'm not really that interested in doing like a small walk out the door pull style rental. Just ironically, because a lot more stuff can go wrong with that than a trailer can. If I go in there and put like a a low water shut off on a, on a trailer pulling from a tank. It's actually pretty safe for me, but it's amazing how many dodos can go and burn up a, a four gallon a minute machine. Uh, <laughs> Very true. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. Um, David, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, you know, we have a store in NC. Uh, Aaron Ritchie, uh, Charlotte or Midlands, I guess is the technical name. So uh, I don't know if that's close enough to you. Um, homeowners you know i'm not going to take a home i'm not going to turn a homeowner's money away if if they want to give me that but i certainly want a big board of everybody's business cards in there and saying oh wow you want to do this yourself might i recommend a professional right here uh because they are professionals on there and and i don't you know let's face it we have we have upper end this is not a, a 300 dollars 2.3 gallon a minute pressure washer that somebody's coming in to buy. We're selling top of the lot, top of the top of the um, top of the market, top end, high end stuff. I don't don't really plan on on seeing a lot of stuff that that homeowners will do. So, um, well, not only that, but I I mean there will be I'm sure contractor pricing versus homeowner be a little bit on the different side. Um, that um, address that I put up, that was the address of the power wash store in at, at Midland. Yeah. Uh, just to say, what are we selling? We're actually just talking about me opening my, my power wash store. Tanya and I have, have, have as we've talked about for a couple months here, we've been going down this journey and this, this thing, why we sold spray wash. Uh, we have purchased a uh, power wash store. We'll be the first ones in Florida uh, to do that. So we are, we are very, very, um, excited about that yeah there is one the windy city is part of that the windy city soft wash is part of the the power wash store family but I, I assume that is in chicago because of the name yeah i think it isn't it isn't it called chicago power wash store chicago uh no it's it's actually windy city soft wash or windy city power wash or something oh, okay for some reason i thought well, I it from, the, from the, the shirts that i've seen out there so uh, gotcha um, and uh yeah yeah, Anthony, we are so excited up for it. We're we can't wait for it to be up and running and, and just you know, it's been a, a dream for, for a long time and um, I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. 
And I think it's, uh, you know, who better to put one up there in, in uh, Florida than Ray? Um, yeah. And I think it'll be amazing for the people there in Florida and outside of Florida, but for the most part, um, in, in and around Florida where you can, man, shipping shipping will be a lot less for oh stuff. Oh, gosh. I mean, I should, I should be able to have it. I can't wait to actually get my shipping and all set up. Um, I, I can't wait to get my shipping set up and do a couple of test runs out to Miami and just to see what happens, you know, how long, because I could see us having one day or next day shipping um, to, to like the Orlando area or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Miami area. Um, Cause we are at a, a definite FedEx hub here. And I think that'll be, you know, really, really cool to have, um, you know, because then I, so much of it has to do with the route that you're on at FedEx. And uh, who was it? Um, oh, everybody talks about how fast he is. Uh, Kentucky. Thing Russ, Russ? Hudson, South side. Everybody talks about how Russ he is. So, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's all about the Ray Day. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to make this all about me, but. Um, what? Yeah, I can't. Can't do it right now, buddy. I'll have to wait later. You got plenty of them. Um, yeah, it, it's it's um, and you know that, again, that's one of the things. Kudos to Paul because Paul's had so many people offering to buy power wash stores, and you know if you look at the ones, everybody that that does a power wash store is a washer, and either was a very successful business washer or they're still washing. So mm -hmm. hopefully you get some not hopefully you get the expert advice, you know, and with us, you've got, you've got Tanya sitting there, you know, who can help you with, with developing and selling and the business plan of it. You got me with some technical knowledge on there. You, you know, you look at, at, at Lisa and Eric, you look at Aaron Ritchie. I mean, the brick experts, and Steve each Hill, one has their own little name. You know, Steve Hill is a, is, is the fleet expert. Um, mm -hmm. The guys in Nashville, I mean, they're like the family style business out there and they really, really know their commercial stuff. Uh, Nick, Nick deals with a lot of, you know, farm really? customers and rural yeah. customers. And Nick actually has a, a specialty of uh, some upholstery cleaning that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. um, David Monaquin uh, in San Antonio, the, the newest one that's open. Um, you know, Dave, David's one of those guys. A lot of people know him, know his success and know his journey where he's, he, he's been in for, for, you know, not a, a, a ton of time and has done very, very, very well. Um, you know, yeah. Somebody saying Russ is faster than Jimmy John's. Yeah. Um, yeah, Rachel. Rachel said, "Love the kid is part of your real world." Um, yeah, he is. He's very much part of our, our real world. Um, mm -hmm. For those of y'all that, that don't know, um, 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 Finn. Mm -hmm. so, so you know, everybody knows the real estate market has gone just absolutely insane. Well. A few months ago, we had the crazy idea. My daughter's, one of our daughter's houses had gone up in value a great deal. And we said, you know, honey, if, if, if it wasn't overly close to us and we have a, we're really, really a part of our families, you know, together, our daughters who were very much part of their lives. And we said, you know, if you wanted to take advantage of this market and wait for the impending crash or find a house you liked better, you'd be welcome to sell your house, move into ours. We've got a couple of extra bedrooms over here. So, um, next thing you know, we put our house on the market. She sold it and we moved, uh, our oldest daughter and our now six year old grandson, who's down here at my feet, uh, into our lives. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, I, I, somebody, Nick, Mike, Michael is sitting there going, I look like I have Viking horns. I did notice I that, that earlier yeah. with, the, with the cow picture. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited. We haven't been super, super loud about opening the power wash store because we just didn't have a product to market. But yes, yeah, so hopefully end of the month, we'll be up and running and Florida will have a power wash store. So Starting to get it going. Yeah, somebody is um, Aaron Ritchie. You know, <laughs> David, and David is very, very good about this. Um, he said he markets every time he walks out my door, branding, 100%. And I'll go on this because you know this 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 thing tonight is about 
the branding, the marketing, the, the setting your, your, your budgets and the planning, maybe not even budget so much as, as the planning and taking this, this downtime that we have. And let's face it, if you're really more hardcore residential, you probably are having some downtime right now. Mm -hmm. it, it's normal. It's natural. Don't feel bad. It is winter time. As we said a couple of weeks ago, you know, if you wanted to catch a cobia right now, you could put the best bait in the world, go to all the great cobia spots in the Gulf of Mexico. You're not catching a cobia because it's not cobia season. The cobias aren't there. A lot of residential people aren't washing their houses right now. You know what's biting this time of year? What's that? Think about it. It's winter time. Uh -huh. What's biting is drama. Yeah. So you can stay out of the drama and work instead of ignore all the whirling that starts to go on this time of year that and start true. spending that time doing That's something true. positive with your company. And yeah, there is you know, a lot of drama on the forums. Um, you know, so, <laughs> so we say, you know, the downtime and it might not be the downtime in, in truth. It's downtime that you might not be, out humping a hose every day, but you're still working. And don't think because you're not pulling a hose, you're not washing a house that you're not working because you are still working if you're a business owner. Or at least like you what, should still be working. Well, like what, what Rhino, what David Rivers was saying, you know, you're out there wearing your, <laughs> you know, people knew me from wearing my, my sublimation jerseys. I mean, I wore them everywhere. Every truck that we owned was wrapped um, at the very end. Of, you know, we, we didn't, we, well, we had one truck in our fleet that was specifically not wrapped because painters that would send us jobs would say, they would refer us, hey, I don't want you showing up in a spray wash truck because they think that I'm doing this job. Okay, so we left one of our fleet not wrapped. We, you know, at one time we had, you know, five wrapped vehicles on the, four wrapped vehicles on the road. People see that. Then when they see you wearing a power a, a, a spray wash shirt every day and your employees wearing the spray wash shirt, it is part of the branding that's out there, you know? If you're a guy and you're and you're married and your wife isn't shocked when you're not wearing one of your work shirts, mm -hmm. you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is something that every single place you go, everywhere you go, every time, that is part of your, your Absolutely. brand. That is part of your making sure that people know who you are, where you are, how you are, why you are, what you do, all of it. I, I used to always joke, but, you know, and one of the things that, that um, one of the things that, that I always did was say, you know, hey, I didn't, I don't have, you know, because you, you go into Lowe's, you go into Home Depot. Hey, do you have a card with you? I, I really, no, no, I don't, I don't have a card. Take a picture of me. Take a picture of my shirt. It's got my website and my phone number on there. And then, you know, I would do a, you know, picture like that when they would take a photograph of it. Because what happens when you give somebody a business card? Really, nine out of ten times, it either goes in the pocket or goes in the wallet. They forget about it. But I had so many calls of people that would call back and say, you know, I was going through my phone. He goes, you know, I needed my house pressure washed. I ran into you at Lowe's, walked out of Lowe's, totally forgot it. But then I was going through my phone, my pictures like a week later, and my wife was going through them. And they're like, who is this Who's dude? Goofy guy guy? You know, doing that. And he's like, and I remembered, you know, absolutely. But that's part of it too, right there. Even in what he's doing with the doing the, you know, yeah. make it something that's going, going to be memorable, something that people are going to, if you're just like, here, take a picture of my shirt. And they're just taking a picture of just the shirt. Yep. You're not gaining anything out of that, really. So make it something. It's the same thing with all marketing and all advertising. You want it to grab some attention. You want to attract. So when they're thumbing through their phone, how can they miss some goofy guy going? Exactly. You know. That's I, I love I love Michael here. You bring shirts to local restaurants and allow waitresses to wear them. Now they're having businesses of the week, month, and they wear their shirts, sell the owner on the uniform costs they'll save. I love mm -hmm. it. I, I, that's thinking out of the box, you know? Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, you know, this is like an EDD. Like, I think you're probably talking about like an EDDM or every door direct mailer type yeah, thing. EDDM. I, I, I can tell you that for me, EDDM is, is a um, 
an established business game. Okay. I don't think it's a good game for somebody that's new in the industry or new to the business, any bit, whatever it is. EDDM is more for an, your, your return on investment is typically not today, not right away. I can tell you when I did do EDDM, I would get cards, you know, back like two years later. Yeah, yeah. So it's more of a long game to begin with. And it's more about the marketing plan instead of the advertising plan. Well, and, you know, and, and I get to say, I guess say the same thing though about like my door hangers and mm -hmm. versus like the flyer yeah. and, the, and the crappy flyers that I've seen so many of my competition do half crumpled up and shoved into a mailbox or jammed into a door crack. We would do a door hanger and do a really nice door hanger. Or, you know, the last group that we did was like a, 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 a rack card, kind of like what Pat Clark did with his clip flyers. Mm -hmm. Tim Field made us like, you know, 5,000 of them, which would be like one day for Pat Clark to do. Yeah. Um, half a day for Pat. Yeah, <laughs> half a day. <laughs> but, but what we noticed, especially when we did the big door hangers and the long, bigger door hangers, is one, put an expiration date on there. And there's yep. a couple of reasons on this. And two, um, don't expect immediate results. And the higher quality item that you're giving out, the more likely that you'll actually get a call two months, three months, four months down the road because they'll take it and refrigerator magnet that thing to their, to their fridge mm -hmm. or keep it in their drunk drawer where if it is junk, if it is a black and white flyer that, that is just a piece of crap, they will throw that away. Mm -hmm. Make um, it colorful, make it something that is enjoyable to look at and that makes them want to, to use the service, even if they don't need it now, right. they will keep it. And so so part of the part of the and I want to go back to, to Flip's comments and then go back to, to the EDDM. So Part of why you put a, a um, um, expiration date on there is you want to, it's going to one, it's a call to action. It's a free driveway, free driveway, free walkway uh, by April 30th, 2022. Those are very effective. Um, not just free driveway because that's no call to action on there. Mm -hmm. It will also then make you get off your butt and go out and do that. And you're giving them a reasonable time. I'm giving them four months to claim this, this freebie. You know, is it really a free driveway? No. It's all built in. It's not. Um, but, you know, so I want to go back now to a couple things, though. Um you can find them. The flip was saying, you know, in the flip, uh, it, you know, they were in the supermarket <laughs> yesterday without our uniform on. One of our customers still knew who they were. Uh, but always wear the company polo when you're out and about. It's, it's all about branding. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yes, the EDDM, and, and it got, you know, towards the end where I could barely even go out and tell ass without seeing somebody whose house I washed. And it was great. And I loved mm -hmm. it, you know. Um, I think in the end, you know, all that, that, continuous marketing that you do like with flip right so um last i get well this has been about six eight months ago uh, i went to a gun show and um you know as we're going through and we're checking in and uh i had my gun with me and i had to check it in when i was leaving i'm checking out and and i knew that the the, the police officer kept looking at me and and i knew that he knew me okay but I wasn't wearing my Cajun soft wash attire or anything of that nature. And so when when I went to retrieve my weapon, they were he was like, ah, so how's business been? You know, and so we were able to strike up a conversation and go on. And that's because I always had my shirt. I didn't have it on this time, but I always had my shirt on. I always always engaging people everywhere I go. Anytime I do anything, I always uh, work with the, with the local police anyhow. So just getting them that's how they're going to get to know you that's marketing that is that's not advertising that's marketing and there's a big difference between the two even though advertising is a part of your marketing program you know here's one and i'm the same way i don't like the yard signs of just house wash and a phone number i know there's a lot of guys that say do that do that do that i think you <laughs> you do i don't like it i like i've always Absolutely. liked my 
I like the spray wash logo on there with with the with. I know it's weird. It's just a difference, you know. I'm going to tell you though. I mean, so we had two different yard signs. One of them had the the, the proper coloring, had our logo, and had the the our, our stuff on it, right? But that particular yard sign was only used on job sites. It wasn't used out on right. in, in roadways because you your whole point of a yard sign mm -hmm. when you're putting them out and about in the middle of roads or wherever is to grab the attention and give them the, the information that they need and have them retain it. So if, if I'm trying to read over or just look at a logo and I don't know what that logo is yet, if it's a Nike logo, I know what it is. Right. But especially when Cajun Softwash started, nobody knew what that logo was. When spray wash started, nobody knew what that logo was. Now mm -hmm. you could put out those types of logos and people are going to know and associate with it, right? But you, you just can't beat the ones that say house wash, roof cleaning, phone number, boom. Can't beat them. That says naked Dougie pictures are highly marketable. So Jacob is bragging. Now, I'm trying to buy them all up to get them off the internet. I'm sorry, guys. I, I honestly thought the only way Jacob would get under 300 would be involving a chainsaw and like amputations. But uh, <laughs> that was mean. Um, hey, Chad, what's happening, buddy? Hope you're doing well. No, Jacob, we're incredibly proud of you. Definitely. Um, so yeah, under, did he say he's under 300 now? Well, so yeah, he's under three. Awesome. Congrats. So Bailey is saying we ran Analix on yard sign marketing last Good for you. Uh, ran analytics on yard sign marketing last three years. We do 18 by 24 roadways. When we leave the client's house, we use 12 by 18. Okay. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So he sounds very, very similar. Um, Gene does the yard sign say working in your neighborhood and accidentally get left. Yeah. That was, you know, one of the things that we would do when I started out, it was, hey, can I leave this yard sign? And it was, you know, another house cleaned by spray wash. Um, would you mind if we, we'd knock $5 off your bill, if we could leave this here for a week or two? Honestly, we'd never go back and pick it up. You know, sometimes they'd be nice and call us, but usually we let them just kind of throw it away. So if we were going to be in the area, we we did, we, we would yeah. pick them back up. Um, but Here's another thing to think about when you're going out and you're physically doing the job, don't just put out one sign. OK, put out like five signs on this side of the driveway and five signs on that side of the driveway only while you're working, though, because you want to talk about people notice them. They can't help but notice all these signs in the yard. Right. And yeah. you let the homeowner know, hey, I'm going to put these signs out. I'll pick them up as I'm going. And then, you know, may I leave one sign you know, as, as I'm leaving? Yeah. This will even work in areas where there's the, the HOAs that, that don't allow yard signs. If you've got them up while you're working, they typically yeah. won't say anything to you. Exactly. They, they might. I've had people stop and say something. But right. for the most part, they they just. Yeah, they're not fussing really about it you know, while you're there and doing it. Absolutely. You know, that's one of the things I always loved about those A-frame, the A-frame. Um, The big four by eight sandwich boards, the A frame yeah. sandwich boards. Tim Fields has them. You got four. That's awesome. I, I had a competitor in my marketplace that was using four by eight. Yeah. Um, you know, the A frame. And, and I, I can't, I mean, I got to tell you, I was surprised that he wasn't doing it more often. He didn't have it on every job. And I, I really should have adopted that because. Yeah. Man, you're driving down the road. You can't help but notice that thing sticking, you know, yeah. eight feet high. I mean, mm -hmm. my goodness. But well, I mean, the sandwich board is so nice right. because, I mean, one, you can put them over hoses on sidewalks from your, yeah. it becomes a safety issue. It becomes an advertising thing. It, 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 I mean, there, it, it's really a, a, a multi tool of signs out there. It's great, mm -hmm. you know? Um, Todd, Todd is saying, you're saying, you know, same thing happened to him flip um had his fleece jacket on with our logo and someone recognized it from seeing our wrap trucks mm -hmm. and uh, guys i can't tell you how important a, a decent logo is mm -hmm. if you market your decent logo does that make i mean no now don't Absolutely. think just because i get a logo 
I'm going to get business because that's not how it works. But if you have a somewhat distinctive logo, and your logo should be on literally everything. Every you letterhead you have, do. all of your emails yeah. that you send out, your shirts, your all of your marketing yeah. pieces, your your wrap, yeah. your logo should be on every single thing. I mean, especially that Absolutely. email signature. I, I see it, it all be. the time where people send me an email and they don't have their logo yeah. in their in their on their signature. I'm like, why? Yeah. Absolutely. That's a, that's a waste. Yeah, you should be waste. loud and proud. I mean, it's why McDonald's has, and I'm, you know, I'm not sitting here going, oh, we're, we're the same as McDonald's. But no, it's why the, the logos that we know are distinctive. We realize them. We go, oh, wow, that's something. I mean, I can show you a FedEx logo, a McDonald's logo, an Amazon logo, uh, a Burger King logo, a, a Wendy's, any of these, and you're going to know exactly what it is, you know? And the same thing, we want our customers to know that about us man um, i'll tell you what i, I want to say you, know, you we you, we just clicked it together yeah yeah i'll I, I tell you what i do I, I i would have my wife pick me up at home depot so i would park at home depot and then she yep. would pick me up and yep. my truck would stay there and you don't park way out there you park where every you front of the tool the depot and where everybody has to pass right in front of the tool <laughs> rental depot yeah. where people are pissed Absolutely. off and bringing back the power washers they rented um yeah. that used to be one of our secrets whenever we had a truck that was like not being used or something on a day we would literally go and drop it off at the home depot parking lot and park it in front of the tool rental area uh so people would see that you know and leave it there all day long if we could you know if it wasn't if it wasn't going out why not use that thing for 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 advertising that's another beauty of a wrap truck that you can do another thing um, that you can do if you have multiple trucks you i'm telling you have them all travel together and have them go through a a neighborhood i mean if you especially if you have neighborhoods near your shop that yep. you can just go and drive through that neighborhood with all of your trucks every now and then. I mean, it's, it is a site. To... Yep. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's a great so idea can... right here with the send gym mailing, uh, take a picture of the community's large entrance sign, attach it to a postcard and send a mass mailing two weeks before, you know, you go to a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let them know, mm -hmm. Hey, we're, we're working in that neighborhood. We'll be there. We can take, take care of you. And you don't even have to do special, um, pricing you don't have to do that when you do things like that um another one uh somebody's asking the go-to for the sandwich boards um and, and Gene O'Neill's agreeing you know they, they love the professional presence um Tim uh, Tim Fields is who I've always gotten mine from uh sign the number two day.com sign two day.com Tim Fields um message him <laughs> look him up on facebook and send him a message don't call mm -hmm. him he will not respond to your calls yeah. um message uh some people it. respond better to email some people respond better to messages some people exactly. like phone calls yeah it was very responsive just not on phone calls that much yeah. so yeah there you go that's another goal here there you go um park next to the gardening center so the ladies see it while picking up plants absolutely right, right there right back you know, another thing about all this is when you're looking at some of your marketing campaigns and your advertising campaigns, if you, if you do Google AdWords, I'm going to highly, highly, highly encourage you to look into the retargeting. Think about it. When you go and you do something and, and you, you search something on the Internet or you go to some place and you go to a shopping cart and maybe you put something in a shopping cart and then you decide, ah, I'm not going to buy that and you leave. You go somewhere and almost right off the bat, you start seeing advertisements for whatever that product was that you've got in your shopping cart or that you were already searching for. Google AdSense will allow you to do that. I think Facebook even does allows you to set your own retargeting now. I'm not right. confident on that, but I know that Google AdWords does. So if you're not doing retargeting, if you have not set up your retargeting, absolutely do that. Yeah. Hundred percent. I didn't do a lot. I didn't do. I never did a lot on the the retargeting or even with the our our, our whenever next time we do budgets and I, I get into our QuickBooks again. I mean our advertising budget was ridiculously small, but mainly that but was you and I said together that we did. You know, that's what you and I both did wrong. Remember, yeah. we we talked about this. 
both of us didn't, we, we never spent any money on advertising. I mean, we just didn't. We didn't need to. We, we stayed need, busy yeah. and we I mean, stayed I mean, at we the level we wanted. We could have we could have grown the business twice of what it was. Um, you. Really, you know, or maybe that was a little bit for my side. I mean, we were at a million for um, two hundred and fifty thousand person market. I mean, you know, I, I think it's unrealistic to say, okay, we could have done two million here because we own the market already. But <laughs> we, we absolutely, if we would have wanted to expand more, we could have expanded more. I didn't want to expand more. I was freaking exhausted. So, man, you'll say that that uh, Facebook Pixel will do that. Um, um, exactly. Uh, so, Michael saying uh, took your advice mm -hmm. uh, on the yeah retargeting. Um, Absolutely. You know, it, it, it works very very well. But one of the things that that we want to talk about, you know, going back with with the downtime right now with with what you're doing at this time of the year. You're not just, you know, if you're Atlanta, Georgia, or above, and it's too cold to work, and you don't have your commercial accounts, this is where you need to be in the business mindset. And you need to realize that you are working on your business every day in some respect. I mean, you're not just, yes, you may not have to be getting up at 6 a.m. and prepping for the day and going out and, and getting cold and soaked because maybe the business just isn't here. But I mean, we just saw, you know, Rachel saying, Hey, gutter clean outs are still keeping them busy, but you know, but she's in the South. It's a great time to, to be working on what is your upcoming plans. One of the things that, you know, you and I were talking about before on our, on our pre-show was our website. Um, you know, we, we, we had done a, a very, I did my own website through GoDaddy to start with, and I would religiously update it. And it became, you know, number one in Tallahassee under, under pressure washing. When we, we then five or six years into it, I said, gosh, people are getting more and more technical and there's stuff a lot smarter than, 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 than I am out there on the website, web stuff that I can do. Cause I'm really kind of a Luddite when it comes to this technology stuff. I said, let's go to one of these bigger web designer who's real popular in the industry and have her design us a 20, 25 page big bad website. We spent a lot of money doing it. And we maintained our number one website against uh, uh, number one, you know, ranking even against some of her own competition that she was doing for our competition in, in the, in the market and guys that were new and, and guys that even had better web designers, I'd say, but we maintained it and we kept up just great. One of the things that we did was always update our uh, blog page. And blogs. And we used Google blogger as, as our blog site, which was tied into our, our website and it would it would go onto our website it was one of the pages and google would update that and, and i'm saying the story on here because we eventually stopped using that web designer and took the page away from her and i literally for a three-year period i never updated anything on that web page again which you know should be website suicide mm -hmm except for my blog and I would religiously update my blog. And what would happen is we never lost, we never lost that, that, that number one ranking out in our market uh, for power washing, salt washing, roof washing, you know, but at slow periods in, in our life during that January, February, I would sit down and write, <laughs> four or five, six articles on roof cleaning and soft washing and plant damage and this and that and the other and schedule them to be published through Google Blogger for our blog part. So it would continually update that. And I wouldn't have to worry about like during the busy months of April, May, June, whenever I didn't have time to, to wipe really well. Um, whether, whether you do a, a monthly blog or a, a weekly blog or 
I can't tell you that the power of blogging and vlogging are, are mm-hmm. I- extremely, especially, I mean, every single year it grows and grows and grows and becomes more popular. And it, it is something that you can sit here this time of year. You can, if you are in those Northern states, you can sit there and write and, and do, do vlogs and blogs like crazy. And then just sit there and have them set up to do that throughout the year. I mean, if you're doing it monthly, then you only have to do 12, right? And it's funny because because if if you get those creative juices flowing, I mean, it's really easy to pump out article after article after article. You know, you can pay somebody to do that. I like what Bailey's saying out there. Residential memberships, um, it looks like he's, you know, and Doug, this is what I think you were doing with with your stuff was, Uh the, you know, you lock the people in and say, "Hey, we're mm-hmm. going to come back, you know, for this this lifetime roof warranty that we're doing." Yep, absolutely, that's also something that you guys can think about. Is you know, let's say you have a person and you're washing them in April or May during your busy, crazy, nutso season. How about telling them, don't go in there and try to sell them the idea of coming mm-hmm. back again. You go in there and assume that literally you're so happy. You're now my lifetime customer. You are. I, I know that you are now my customer for life at this point. And how about we, and I'm slow in March. How about we schedule you for March? We try to start bumping those, those customers to a nine month or a 10 month duty cycle and fill them in in our slower periods because they're already our customers at this point. And don't forget that your past customers are your um, your biggest one of your biggest assets, especially when it comes to marketing and and, and advertising. But, and, and remember, there's a difference between marketing and advertising. But in in the marketing aspect of it, your your previous customers are are gold, and they're. Oh my they God! That's the best. That's the forever. best source of business oh, you can absolutely. get right there. They already love you. They're already a customer, and so many times we forget about them. Mm-hmm. I remember early on, it was always like a personal slap in the face um, to me. I love what Midwest is saying here, but, but somebody would call and go, "I can't remember the the you know we'd answer. I hey, spray wash can help you." I just cannot remember the name of the company. It was this nice man. And and it was just like, and you realize, well, yeah, oh, this is Ms. Johnson over at 1332. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh my God, you know, you, you're off the constant contact list. Somehow you're, 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 you didn't get added to the email. And I just felt so stupid because it was pure luck and God taking care of me that she called us back. Because she that, didn't call you, anybody else. You know how else Ray screwed up on that one? So Ray should have gone ahead and taken his customer and punched her number into his phone once she called and hung up and put down yeah. her name and, you oh. know, like maybe what service. That was to the call. office phone. Luckily, we did have them yeah. trade. Um, Chad is is saying something real important here. Farm and egg show washing in, in January. I cannot express the importance enough of this, of do your home shows, man. If you've got like a, a springtime home show in, in your municipality, get out there and do it. And ha- have, have something to give away that people yep. are going to want and they're going to go ahead and sign up. And, you know, they have to they have to fill out the forms to in order to. to Man, you know what I would do? I would sit there. I would have before and after pictures and a little video presentation. I would put it on a USB stick. I would plug it into the back of a 68 inch television and I would just have that television running the whole time and I would oh, have then a sign underneath it to enter to win <laughs> this 68 inch Samsung television, which maybe cost you three, $400 at the end of the trade show. So you don't even have to carry the thing back home. You know, you look at the bottom, right? Right there, mm-hmm. a little thing we got scrolling. You can have that happening below your yeah, your absolutely. advertisements. All your pictures are scrolling through, and then right there at the bottom, you've got something that just scrolls right along yep. and says "Enter to Win." Yep. Budget plan, Gene. You know, great on this. 
budget planning starts before the year end for the following year. If you're not getting in front of those planning budgets, you won't be doing them for those jobs later in the year. hundred mm -hmm. percent. You know, and what Gene's talking about is like the HOAs and the commercial stuff. If you're going after that, if you're going after somebody with a, with a 2022 budget, if you're not already marketing that, you're probably too late for that on a commercial business right now because mm -hmm. they're making those decisions either last month or this month. And that's the same thing with when they're looking towards uh, the right before colleges start back up again, mm -hmm. right? They're going to, they're going to get those buildings or they're going to get those housing units clean a lot of times right before it starts. And you, you need to be able to be in front of them at that time and have your schedule open, which is the hardest thing because a lot of times they would call us up and they'd say, Hey, we need to get these things clean within the next, the next two weeks. And we couldn't get to them. So that's why you start, once you learn that cycle, you start booking, you, you set aside that time so that you can get to them because those are important jobs to begin with. BB, what's happening, buddy? Glad what's up, you're here, man. I'm always, I love, I love hearing from BB. He, yeah. um, that's a beast right there. I love BB had, didn't you, you posted something recently and it's slipping my mind. It was pretty awesome. I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm almost sure you may remind us, but free bottled water. Love it. Wild West, but his transmission went out of pretty peak customer. Come pick me up my equipment up because he liked my work. There you go. That's customer for life right there. Absolutely. Local festivals. Absolutely. Richmond is saying happy new year to everybody. Even if you're giving away little food items or whatever at those local festivals, get people to come over to you. That's kind of the point. There you go. Referrals, referrals, referrals. Enjoy, uh, living in a small state and town, everybody knows everyone. A lot of folks know you or, or have heard of you, at least. You know, if they haven't used you, their neighbor has used the flips. You know, it's what it is. And the um, next one, if people don't know what lunch and learns are, you should learn yeah, about those. Absolutely. Lunch and learns are amazing. Absolutely. And you don't just, they're not just for the HOAs, but you can do the lunch and learns can be done virtually any place, right? Yeah. So a lot of times you do them with realtors and we and did it so many for OKA realtors meetings, right? But you can also do lunching lunch and learns with some of your better clients, right? Yeah. That you that you know. So you can go to uh, uh, like we had some uh, really good clients where we they have lots of employees and we could go and do a lunch and learn in front of all their employees that not only is kind of a, showing them our gratitude. But it also is showcasing to their employees exactly what it is that our company can do. Yep. Jacob saying, uh, you know, Chamber of Commerce, you know, that's one of the things that, that we'll be doing. You know, I don't know if we'll do it monthly or maybe quarterly, but the Lunch and Learn events at the Power Wash door Tallahassee. I mean, we're going to be doing, I was talking to the guys from, um, oh, goodness, um, Mike Rabalski and, 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 um, you know, about doing paper sealing and stuff. And let's start doing some, some, you know, training on a quarterly basis, yep. um, coming out there and, and talking about that and doing it. Um, maybe get a smoker and, you know, slap some Boston butts on that and feed everybody. So Mitch is saying he gives away a free house wash once a month to our biggest local community page. I love that. Don't have time mm -hmm. to advertise. Don't have to advertise. Everybody's always talking about him. That is just an amazing awesome. idea, Mitch. Mm -hmm. That is great. I love it. Um, Especially since amazing. he's doing it, it sounds like he's doing it on one page that has yeah, 35,000 people yeah. on it. Yeah. So, I mean, every month people are going to be signing up for it. And yeah, that's awesome. Bailey, um, insurance agency has been huge for us. Absolutely. Yep. I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars we have done. Do um, I can't tell you how many how many roof cleaning referrals we've gotten from from insurance people. You know, mm -hmm. or, or, hey, my insurance guy said I've got to get my roof cleaned uh, before they can they can do this. Mm -hmm. And you know, for for the guys that are watching this, I understand y'all may not know a lot of these names that you're seeing on here, but there are some absolute experts on on both YouTube. And Facebook, you gotta chill out. You gotta chill out, buddy. If you don't feel chill, you're gonna have to leave. Chill out. The, people don't realize we've got some amazing professionals and and who are chiming in here and giving this information that very talented guys. I mean, and this is this is amazing. What's happening here? That they're doing this, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Parades, yeah. I've never done a parade, but it was something that I was I was looking at. And I think par- I mean I know lots of guys that do. I, matter of fact, I think Jason just did one. Jason Harris just did a, a parade here recently. And so uh, yeah, any place that you can go. First of all, I think parades would be a good one to have yeah. good uh, camaraderie with your employees to begin with. So having them get involved in it and all that, and then being out there in the community, I just think it's a good thing all the way around. I love it. Servant Southwest <laughs> talk about parades with bubbles. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just saying, hey, hit every single local parade. I know that, that the Christmas light guys were doing that a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, what's Michael saying? Here's advice of actually practice. If you're the presenter for a tour company, join Toastmasters, learn public speaking. Mm-hmm. 100%. I was not the smooth, polished person. <laughs> which is a joke, but <laughs> that I was at Toastmasters was huge for me because I actually used to be shy. And you really should. I mean, if especially if it's something that you're um, going to pitch it, right? I mean, and, and you're not good at it, you're not used to it, whatever the case may be. Hey, there is absolutely nothing wrong with standing in front of a mirror and, right. you know, pitching to yourself. I mean, it, it, it feels stupid. It feels wrong, whatever. But that's generally how you feel, and it's it's how you get over it, okay? Because you get over, you you need, you get you over, the, you get over the embarrassment. Mm-hmm. You know, something else too. Um, you know, elevator speech. Practice yeah. and know an elevator speech. If you don't know what an elevator speech is, it's an elevator pitch. It's you all of a sudden have thirty seconds with somebody. You're going to be in an elevator with them for thirty seconds. You've got to sell yourself for thirty seconds. What are you going to tell? In advertising, the marketing side of it, that that's uh, what is that called? That's called your. Uh, oh, man, come on. Your it's pitch. right. Here. No, not not. But the elevator pitch is part your, of your, your, your unique your value proposition. Yeah, value yeah. proposition. Yeah, you, the, yeah. That, that's a big part of your sales and marketing is, is having that value proposition. Right. So you need to have you, you need to know what it is that you do, be able to get it across to somebody very, very quickly. And that's what an elevator pitch is is all about, getting that out there so they know what you do and that limited amount of time that they're going to give to you. Because sometimes people don't want to give you any. Not only that, one of my greatest clients, not that not money wise, okay, not that I made a whole bunch of money off of this company, but one of my greatest clients um, actually came from, so for me, it's about building relationships, right? And my pitch with her and her, shunning me off because I was a contractor. And I've told the story probably a dozen times. She ran a church and, you know, she just, she wanted me, she wanted to stand back for me because I was a contractor. And so I had to very quickly get it across to her that I'm not that guy. I'm, I'm as honest as the day is long. So practice these things in front of a, and and she became, ironically, uh, I was thinking about it because she sent me a friend request on Facebook a day or two ago or something like that. But anyhow, um, you know, building those relationships and doing things like that, that uh, honesty to me, I think is, is, is key in that as well. But having that elevator pitch where you don't have to make anything up, you know it, you've got it. It's there. Your value proposition is there. They know what you do. You know what you do is kind of more important than of letting them know is that you know exactly what it is that you do. I don't think a lot of guys know exactly what they do. I don't think a lot of guys know what their value proposition is. Yeah, they really don't. They pressure, they say we pressure wash. And, you know, there's so much more than, yeah, we pressure wash. I had to let Bailey up here, by the way. She was at my feet. I want everybody to say happy birthday to Bailey. Happy Happy birthday, birthday, Bailey. It is actually today I was looking at my, I was looking at my. um, Pictures picture or my memories on Facebook and it was nine years ago today we got Bailey so Bailey and Bailey was about one year old so we have established this as Bailey's birthday yes it is Bailey's birthday that is so yep. cool she was a rescue that was walking around the streets that had been abandoned mm. so yes our, our dog was a rescue she's our Catahoula our Catahoula Kirk She's a good girl. Yes, she is. 
so um, the other thing I want to kind of touch on real quick is is making sure that you know what works and what doesn't work and double down on what does work. And, and how, do you, how do you know what it is that's working for you and what isn't working for you? If you're going to try different marketing campaigns or advertising campaigns, consider this, especially if you have your own website and you can create different emails for that website. Okay. If you, because if you, if you own your own web domain and all that, you can typically create unlimited numbers of, of emails. For it. Right. So you can do a campaign and in that campaign, Hey, send an email to whatever this is at right. playwashpro.com. Right. And so that way I can track every single one that comes through from that particular advertisement. Or you can get different phone numbers. And when that phone number rings, oh, if we you know where it comes from. You know, people used to always do, uh, not always, but but that was one of the things that the um, Yellow Pages would do is they would assign you, because what you're talking about of having an actual assigned phone number to it, but they would do, do ads with separate, you know, separate phone, phone numbers so you could really track it. Mm -hmm. This dog right here. I mean, it's, it's, um, I want to go a couple, there's so many good comments on here. Um, get different, you know, oh, I got to go back to manuals, but all, all the things that, you know, what Gene's saying, all the things you're talking about, the majority of the guys slow right now should be planning out who they need to reach over the next 12 months. Absolutely. 100%. And not only just planning out, but they need to be setting stuff into setting stuff into motion on what to do. Man, I need to be quiet, buddy. Um, you know, but but what? Um, let me go back to what manual was. That, that is one heck of a grandpa. I just got to say that is. Um, that is one heck of a. Indigo grandpa. said tour was a typo. Owned a tour company for years. Delivery is easy for me. A huge asset. Appearance is big. Also, dress well and speak well. Hundred percent. You know, and you know. It, Keep a, keep a clean shirt in, in your truck. Keep one that's not bleached out. And, you know, and some guys think of the, the idea of, well, it's okay. I work for a living. It's okay for me to be dirty and nasty. No. I always would even apologize to people. All right, buddy, that's it. I would even apologize when I would go out to estimates and say, oh, I'm sorry. I smell like bleach. But I would always try to have a clean shirt on and look presentable because I, I don't want somebody thinking that I look like something the cat, you know, drug in right there. I actually carry um, different, different uh, outfits in my, in my truck. Absolutely. So especially my shirt, because if I would go out and I would help guys on the job or whatever, and I would get dirty or I would get smelling like bleach. I don't want to go and do that in front of, you know, when I'm out doing sales. So I would have a, ch at, at the very least be able to change my shirt but I kept extra um, pants and, and all that in the truck so that I could make that change out and be presentable um, when you're going to visit the people. So what Manuel was saying was, and actually I got to talk about this. So get different, which is actually not the, the exact title, but it is a similar title because it's be different or, or, but the guy from next week, whenever we have the power wash door, and let me go to the banners for power wash store in Orlando, powerwashstore.com. If you're, you need to, to sign up for this, uh, powerwashstore.com. The guy who wrote Profit First, his new book is, I think it's Get Different, uh, about marketing. He's our guest speaker for that. It's kind of amazing. Um, you need to be there. You need to literally be at this show next week. It's next Monday, Orlando. Um, it's free for Power Wash Door customers. Or if you want to be a Power Wash Door customer, come join us in Orlando. Get pre-registered on this. I'm going to hit this one here real quick. Um, Bailey, it says, uh, do you have any experience in setting up multiple <clears throat> my business locations in different towns compared uh, to Google ads. I do not have any experience with that, but I know that you can do it and you can track them all individually. I just, I don't have the experience with that. And so how about you, Ray? Uh, I do not. Yeah. I really we, don't. We stayed in our I know because, because I mean, if you look at, if you look at a map, Tallahassee is an Island 
with with 90 to 100 miles before you get to anything of any size. I'm la it's one of the things I'm never going to sit here and lie to you and go, oh, yeah, I'll tell you how to do that because it never really worked for us Doesn't on matter. there. Um, yeah, and we, we even though like we service New Orleans, we service Homa, yeah. we serve we we would occasionally service uh, Lafayette kind of a thing. We really didn't go there yet. I was it was part of the plans, um, but I never did because it, you know it, that's you know. Yeah, so S three Pro is saying yes. Yeah, one of the things that we have in Spray Wash Pro is pictures of our before and after pictures of our portfolios that we would do, and and we talk about over in Pro how we would send these to potential customers or if we're talking to someone about, let's say we're talking about doing, I don't know, a hospital. I would have before and after portfolios that I send to the hospital whenever I get done and I'm at a different hot. Oh, by the way, I know we just talked about this job. Here are some recent, you know, portfolios of a job that we just did. Call me if you have any questions. Great talking to you today. You know, so, one of the reasons that you go and you you keep you, marketing begets marketing you know whenever you you create something for a customer you can use that for other customers and it's okay oh, no. it's, it's actually a great idea to use it for, because you're very sincere at that point they realize it's not something you've made up it's not some bs thing that's just you, you've just pulled out this is it's dated August 4th of 2021. You know, I mean, it was done mm -hmm. in the last two or three months. Todd and Todd that he's booked out for close to two weeks in January, still visiting booked apartment complexes for the spring. Also visiting apartment complexes you quoted November, December. And those so apartment complexes, I'm going to tell you, they, they will have, they, a lot of times they'll have swap out. They'll, their management will change. So being able to go in and keep business, that is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. go to this other so one. Rachel um, Bailey says, I know a guy can do that for you. A few locations through local services, and it's amazing. Mike M is awesome. Y'all two ought to hook up. I know that Rachel, she's on Facebook. Bailey, you're on Facebook. Do it. You know. And Gina is saying, you'll never get to the kitchen table dirty. And it doesn't just have to be the kitchen table, right? It can be commercial because that refers to residential. The same thing with commercial. And this goes back to having that change of shirt and everything. Not only that, but think about it. If you're going to be walking into a a residential house, or, you know, house or even a commercial um, office complex, and you're all dirty, and it's because you have to be dirty. One of the things that you can do to help mitigate that is simply take off your shoes. Believe it or not, and you say, oh, "I got to take off my shoes," and they'll say, "No, don't worry about it. I got to clean up anyhow." No, uh, you don't understand. I, I was working. I, I got some really nasty stuff on my shoes. Let me just take them off. Yeah, that's going to show them some ultimate respect, and they're going to appreciate that. They're going to. You know, you know, one of the things that I love to do whenever I'm out walking around with with a property manager, especially a new guy. Well, not even a new guy. Even if it is a, a somebody that I'm with, if I see a piece of trash on the ground, like okay. we're out walking a building, pick it up. Oh, Ray, we got, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's a, it's a thing of mine. It's a, it's a peeve that I have. I cannot stand to see trash out here. Excuse me one second. Sit down. Uh-oh. You're being loud and obnoxious. Sit down or you're going to have to go to bed. Okay. Um, <laughs> that'll probably that'll probably be the end of it there. So, <laughs> yeah, probably not. Ah, uh, but so I love this. So, so Michael saying two months uh, booking out, two months, two months out. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love it. Get different. Yeah, common courtesy goes a long way. It absolutely does. It's it, it's amazing how, and, and it's not only it, you know, it is just not only is it. Um, go shoot deer. Go shoot something, please. So that's our new uh, one of our new Christmas presents in back that that uh, Tanya surprised us with is the big Buck Hunter Pro uh, thing. So. Oh yeah, Bay uh, the graffiti wipes. Let's talk about that. Yeah, you know, that, 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 those are awesome. Oh, they're amazing. So, 
uh, world's best graffiti remover makes a, a, a non-toxic, uh, probably it's orange smelling. It probably has a lot of delimonene in it. Mm -hmm. Keep one in your pocket whenever you're walking around. If you see some felt pen, you see some, some a Sharpie marker, you walk around and say, oh, well, let's get that for you real quick and just sit there and scrub it off. And it's absolutely amazing. It blows a property manager's mind whenever you can sit there and, and remove graffiti in front of them. And they have no idea. If it's on a sign or whatever and it's a felt marker and you just go up and you just yep. take it off, yeah, it's an awesome thing. Yeah, Finn's a little uh Finn's a little hyper getting a little hyper this evening. So yeah. Almost bedtime. Mm -hmm. Well, he's been on on uh, it's actually about an hour, hour and a half past his bedtime, but he's been on Christmas vacation for the last two weeks. So we have uh we have had a good time. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. And hold on one second. Finn, come here, come here, come here. I love you. Say, say good night. I want you to say good night to everybody. Good night, say, bye. Finn. say bye. Bye. Say right, bye. Bye, bye, Miss Finn. I love you. I'm going to sound like he tripped. <laughs> that may have been Gammy hitting him. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It wasn't Gammy hitting him. Bailey is Bailey is like up here, up on my legs, going, God, please don't let him terrorize me anymore. So Scott, we it's, talked it, about this like what two, three weeks ago. It's like ever since hitting that semi-retirement thing, even Ray said the same thing. It's just like, man, you just hit this relaxation thing. There's not as much um not as much daily yeah. stress. And Doug, I'll tell you what, I, so I went in the, to that location today. I said we got our, our keys finally this morning. And so 1,400 square foot of it, we've got 1,400 feet of offices. It'll be our, our packing, our shipping, and our private offices, the Spray Wash Pro Ops, Spray Wash Academy offices. Then we've got 1,400 feet that'll be our, our show. Oh, you saw it. I mean, mm -hmm. so I went in there and I scraped up that carpet today. Now, in, in all fairness, I carried my Kubota up there. I pulled open the door. And I ran that Kubota and I scraped as much carpet as I could. But then I got on there, just me alone, while managing Finn, because Tanya's still under contract with Crystal Clean. So I'm watching Finn and I sat there and scraped carpet up. I hurt in places I didn't realize <laughs> that I had places. I mean, oh my God, do I hurt right now. That's what happens. It, yeah, it's I, it's called A G E. I think there's going to be a flex rule in my in my near future, and um, which I hate because they knock me. It's like drinking a bottle of Nyquil for me, you know. Yeah, I've got uh, because of my past injuries and such. I've got uh, muscle relaxers that every now and then. Luckily, I don't I don't have to take them, but maybe twice or three times mm -hmm. a year. But that's yeah, they just knock me out. I, I, I'm weird like that with flex reel. I mean, it is literally, it is, it is. I, I, I know some people can take them. If I take one, it is like I have drank two bottles of Jack and I drink. I mean, God knows I can drink. Um, it, it feels like I have got just this horrible hangover, just foggy headed i can't focus at all if i take a flexor roll it's it's weird like that i don't know todd i i won't be at either one of the two um i've got some personal business poker he's got poker so i'm gonna be at the spray wash i'm gonna be at the uh the 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 the, the Orlando, the Power Wash Store event. So that one is uh, powerwash.store.com. Sign up there, right there, free event. We've been doing this now for, what, five, six years. This originally started out mm -hmm. in Tampa as the spray wash event um, after the implosion of that thing. Um, and so then we moved it to Orlando. So Going back to Orlando, where it's always been at the the uh, Double Tree 
SeaWorld. Um, come and join us. Love to see you. And as somebody had mentioned, I, I saw earlier, and I, I'm so horrible with, with, with the names. Um, um, but somebody, anyway, Mike McCallowitz, McCallowitz, Michaelowitz, McCallowitz, the guy that wrote Profit First, and he gave the name of another book that he wrote. And but yes, same guy that wrote Fix This First. Yes, that was what he said. He said Fix This First. Same guy who wrote that, but his his new one is is Be Different. I believe is the new. Um, mm -hmm. Wild West. Oh, duck hunting. So, um, well, good night, Mister Gene. That is early to go duck hunting, Gene. Man. How, how many decoys you got to set up or how far do you have to go? Sounds like a ways. Um, trade program, do lust to owners ever think of doing trading programs for items that can be refurbished and resold? Uh, I don't know if that's power wash store is what that was supposed to be, but I don't know. I mean, we're all a little bit. Flexible. That's got to be what it do. do, do uh, power wash. Could possibly look at doing a trade in. Yeah. yeah, get different. That's it. And I and I actually Mike have that book. I'm going to get him to sign it because I got some that he just um, did. Yeah, Gene, shoot him hard. Uh, hope you um, hope you get him. <laughs> nice wild west. Yeah, yeah. Car wash store. Ah, you still don't have it. Your damn autocorrect is killing you, isn't it? <laughs> auto the autocorrect is always killing everything it is it is so that's supposed to say do car it's got to be yeah okay i'm sorry i had to refill my nope, bad you got it ah didn't give you any warning on that i don't know you know there is a possibility i, I guess it really depends on you know, is it something that, that has life to it? Um, well, that's one of the things that, it, uh, yeah. like with uh, uh, the proportioners, you know, having backup proportioners where you can take one in and send one out, yep. you know, that's been refurbished because sometimes it's not very often that a, that a, uh, that a proportioner has problems. Yeah. And most of the times, I, I mean, for us, the problem we would have would be in the soap valve. But anyhow, um, you know, having that available to be able to make that swap out, I'll work on Ray with that. I think that that would be a good thing. Well, you know, I, I went and I always carried extra extra PPs. It was hilarious last year. Around this time, I literally sent five back to the power wash store and I said, rebuild all of their four. Rebuild all of these. These are my spares. I put the, the spares on there. You know, you want to talk about, here's, here's a funny, here is a funny, 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 funny story. You want to talk about originality? You want to just talk about, oh, Tanya's giving me the look right here. Um, Not row. Hold on. Uh, power wash door. No, that is Steve Hill. Uh, Steve Hill's an absolute fleet washing expert. Actually, yep. and Steve lost his dad last week. Yep, just the other day. Heart goes out to Steve. Steve is a, an absolute amazing, amazing guy. Yeah. Um, very good, Kobe. Yes, get that website up. Put the SEO into it. You can you cannot over SEO into it. Um, I like boosters that need. Um, yeah, uh, possibly depending on the booster. If it's a Goulds and I can get the rebuild kit, yes. If it's something like the, the Dayton from Granger and the rebuild kits are hard to come by, maybe not so much, but yeah. yeah. I mean, certainly if there's a Goulds, I mean, it used to be damn near impossible to kill the old, is it the Balfour motors that are on there now or the American standard motors? I cannot remember if I'm not looking at them, but there was the old motors. You could not kill. Them. Uh, they changed them up and, and it, it's and not it, the motors that generally ever die. Anyhow, it's, it's true. It's, it's, true. it's, gut, it's, it's, it's inside the, the booster itself. Yeah. That's what usually goes bad. It is true. Um, and the old Dayton's used to run forever. Oh, they did. I mean, the Dayton's, you could literally turn them on. It sounded like, it sounded like my, like my shoulder. 
but they would they would keep going, you know. Yep. They were amazing. Worked awesome. Um, so we're talking about soap valves. And here is here is one of the little proofs <laughs> that we have that that, that the world is, you know, because everybody's oh, Tim didn't invent the proportioner. Tim Aselton, he can't patent that, which by the way, the patent thing is still out there, still going. Mm-hmm. Everybody and their brother, and this is a this is a sweet little nugget for you, you guys that just are, are into the little inside track of this stuff. So you know you've got bleach, water, and then soap that's down a little bit lower. Does anybody have an idea why the soap is a little bit lower on there and then the check valve is on the other side of the soap? Just, I'm going to leave this out here. See if anybody can answer that. Why are the bleach water up higher with the check valves down below and the soap is a little bit lower and the check valve is above that? Does anybody know? When they first came out, Mitch, that that, that was just a, uh, I'll say a, a flaw. I mean, That's not the answer, though. So again, bleach, water are on a level plane together. Soap, and with the check valves here, soap is in the middle, lower with the check valve here. Does anybody know why? I don't think it's going to happen, really. I mean, I was privy to it. I was one of the guys that, I mean, I'm the guy that told Paul, I was the guy that said, Paul, you should meet Tim. Y'all two should get together and make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music and do this. I mean, first off, it was me like begging Tim, Tim, please bring this to market. Viscosity, rated flow control, back pressure. I like it. No, there's absolutely no reason for that because here's the reason for it because that's what fit in the box that was made. It wouldn't fit into the box that was made. So they had to lower one and put the check valve on a different side. And so they could turn the valve handle. That in. is the valve. It, it actually, Mitch really did get that. It is. Mitch really did get it. It was so it would actually fit into the pre-made boxes that were out there. And yet and still, everybody who copied this design, and yes, I'll say it again, everybody who copied this design go, oh my God. And even though they're not in boxes and the cheap SOBs who just knock them off, don't put them in boxes, we've got to have the soap valve lower because we don't know why, but that's what the original did. The only reason the original did that was just to make the fit in the box that they had. So next time you buy a knockoff proportioner, ask that person. Why? Hey, why is the soap offset and a little bit lower here? Just ask him and see what BS nomenclature excuse or whatever they come up with because the truth is there's no reason for that whatsoever other than it wouldn't fit in the original box there but you go. still you see here, heard it here for every us. knockoff that was out there they copied it like that because they figured Oh, they this thought there was something to it. Nobody's ever done their own independent research to make that happen. So there's a little nugget for you guys that are making the knockoffs. You could actually do them all in a line. You'll be mm-hmm. fine. <laughs> there you go. And this is why I shouldn't drink. I didn't do any drinking. Freaking. I probably should have. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. It's been a day. One point. It's so it, it's it's been a very rewarding day and it's nice and 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 we're not releasing the the location. I'm actually going to get Tanya on here to to do like the release of, of where we're going to be at. But I told her I said Tanya, you're going to come on tonight. She's like, no, I'm not getting on tonight. I was like, okay. Charlie Daniels, late but but uh, still here. Thank Please you, hear buddy. You. Good to see you. Glad you're there. Charlie has just one of the most beautiful families in the world. So, um, Douglas, thank you for, for helping me waste these people's time again. Um, look forward to seeing y'all here next week. Was that January 9th and 10th? January 9th and 10th in Orlando. Orlando come. If you haven't already seen it, go to www.powerwashstore.com. Actually, Tanya is. Uh, Tanya wants to talk about running the office. Uh, Tanya is speaking in, where is it at? Um, in Nashville coming up this year. Uh, part of the huge convention has asked her to go up. It was like, it was amazing. Um, Bailey, see you in Orlando too. It was, it was great. Uh, the, the guys from the huge convention, uh, contacted Tanya and said, um, we'd like you to come up and teach a class in Nashville. Um, in, I think it's, uh, March about, you know, running a successful company. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who didn't get an invite? Me. Either. <laughs> That's because you wow. and I are unemployed. Wow. Or fat. Well, it, it, it actually just goes to prove that the guys that own the huge convention are smart. So, okay. um, but yeah, they're doing a an expo there about running a successful office and really meant for the you know, back end people of, of, of running the office. And um, yeah. So cool. yeah, Tanya, I, I, I'm really, really proud of Tanya and, and she's going to do amazing. And, and, you know, she has knowledge that, that people can really use up there. So, and I'm, I'm really kidding about we gotta, We've got to get her on here with her. Uh, oh, excuse me. Her funny funny she's, she's funny about this. She's not a big, she doesn't like it. She does not like it. She does not like it. So, um, well, guys, thank y'all. We appreciate the last hour and a half of your time. And um, see y'all next week or maybe later this week. Yeah. Take thank y'all. Wash on, guys. Wash on.